Norman Stocks Baldy. It's a Norman Wood Stocks Baldy. <clears throat> Bare Bones Broadcasting. We're back. This is the Skeleton Nation. Brief remark. Brief remark from Norman this morning. Just had my breakfast. Here's the issue. I'll ask you a question. You catch somebody tearing up a house and they know better. They get more trouble when they know better or when they don't. Well, something that's smart enough to really care about this place and know more about each of your lives than you can remember about it yourself realizes that you know better and that you're playing dumb to do everything being sold today, all the plans, the airplane track. You think there's inventions now that you could ship hologram for business meetings across the globe? Do they need to fly? Does business travel, can they use hologram instead of airplane travel? Can they? I'd like to know that. I think most of the airplane travel written off and it's a horse pucky. Huh? It wasn't written off, you couldn't afford it. It's written off through business expense. BS. I could be wrong. It's BS. Outdated. Airplane travel to this planet, outdated. That's what it's used for. It's like the trip in the car. It's all data for what it's used for. Y'all know better. And I'll tell you, you get more trouble when you know better with your lifestyle than when you don't. I'll tell you what, even if your maker came and caught you, something else I think that sees you all vulnerable because you're doing that <clears throat> has got something to do with that. Only if the generation's coming, and when they come, see you doing this, you are vulnerable to them. They ain't going to like you doing it. You're like tearing up their house, and you know better. You're vulnerable. I worry you that. You know better. You get in more trouble. You're not innocent. In the book of Jonah, it says they're innocent. You ain't innocent. You know better. You're all playing dumb. That's the same as knowing better. It is. Remember that. Everything going on in the globe right now. Mm-hmm. You're vulnerable because you know better. And I had something else to add that. It's not coming to me. <laughs> As usual, probably because I just ate. And things start slowing down. I wonder why. Because that same mechanism is getting used for digestion now. The same mechanism I would use for wit and picturing. Pretty tough for that mechanism, the liver and the pancreas and the... And the whole mechanism to do both same time. It is. I assist it with supplements and so on. And I have infestation that really slows it down and attacks everything about it. Which is, I'm sure having a heyday now after what I just ate, the fungus is saying, wow, dinner! <laughs> and the bacteria are saying, wow, dinner! And so I have to work with that. And it's going to affect how I'm able to wit and transfer that to you. And I was, just as I was eating though, I had some things attached to what I said that I was going to remind you of with, and it ain't in there. <laughs> nope. Because that's how this contraption works. It works from down here. So, <clears throat> nevertheless, you're able to do a lot of different things right now than you're doing. With the confession that everything you're doing is hoggy hour. And ain't working. And can't work. And it's not including enough people. It's about a part of some kind of a sophisticated um, <clears throat> uh, exclusive. Get to use it. It's bunk. Because the exclusive are living off of failure. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. And it's the exclusive living off of failure, yelling success, that must have their confession. And they're the ones in most trouble here. You're most decent. You're most... Priceless. Have to do something different. Have to contribute. The ones that really have it. You can't ask these people that are having a temper tantrum who really don't have anything to contribute. Even though I, once you start contributing, they'll jump in with what they have. Mm -hmm. In fact, <clears throat> I think these are the ones that are causing all your trouble right now. When you invest in that same pattern that comes in random, it's coincidence, it's always there, invest in it, 
You won't have any trouble with it anymore. You're not, you're letting it go right through the cracks. You're not paying attention to it. Maybe you don't have time. It takes too much time to take care of that. Can't answer their questions in class. Yes, you can. In class, there'll be a bunch of conversations that answer all questions. At the end of the class, at the day, say, do you have any questions? And everybody ought to be stuffed with them. I'd say, well, <clears throat> come on back tomorrow with them. We'll see if we can get them answered. Like to sir with love. That class. Okay, you because listen, you get out of school with more questions than you came with. They inform you about all this stuff. You're not curious about it? Look at all the stuff you got in your classroom. Are you curious about any of it? Now you got, now you got questions and you came there with them, which they didn't answer much. They gave you a bunch of who it wasn't even part of what you were curious about. Well, now you got questions you came with before you went to class. You still got those questions. You got to get those answered because you didn't have time. Plus you got all the stuff they told you in class and that's curious too. Right? Curiosity got plenty of work to do here <clears throat> and passing on the information. Correct. Right. And letting the echo of that information have a wonderful effect and it shall. Because you get curious about this place, it's priceless, and you got no time to look anywhere else in here with thrust and fill. I proclaim it. NASA has already found the deepest space probe. The most priceless thing in the cosmos is here, and we shall examine it and not use college remarks anymore about it. All the college studies. They reinforced the stupidity of the school. That didn't do us any good. Like the pep rally is a team that's losing. Dumb. <laughs> Can we go see the other team? And they're on the other side of town. That's where the right guys really know how to play live. Huh? School I grew up in. I wonder how that school's doing now. <laughs> yeah. A lot of us had to go to that school. Sure did. Thank you. Thank you very much. Norman Stuck Spalding, please consider these things if you have the, the absence of wit like I do to understand what I'm talking about. And the uh, <clears throat> echo of information about the EAR, parentheses, 2H, bare, bare bones broadcasting. This is the radio business calling on YouTube to give me a hand, man. <laughs> it's rough in there. Whew. The advertisers got old. <laughs> Well, radio business in the United States, in fact, all over the planet, because of the advertisers and promotion. Itching the ears, play to that itching ears. I hear they're itching a lot different than that. Oh, your fault. That's when you face the uh, program director. That's a program director in a um, radio broadcast business. 